guys, it's Steve and I. I have been tasked with the job of doing another library display. This is for the month of August, and I was thinking maybe back to school, but that's kind of cliched and boring, or uh, I don't know, what's summary? And then I went, oh hey, just like as a joke to myself, like my birthday's in August, I should do a display all about my birthday. And then I went, wait, you know that, that might work, actually. I could do like party planning and like broaden it to like baby shower and bar mitzvah and uh, summer barbecue and all kinds of stuff. So I just got some general books about party planning and organizing and some children's books about fun party time with party hats and everything. And I'm gonna decorate the shelf to look really cool like a party. And I'm going to show you guys how to make the biggest part of this display, which is the birthday cake. The display is going to have several parts. It's going to have, of course, the books that are all displayed. It's also going to have the cake in the middle. The cake is going to say in, like, frosting letters, it's party time! And then it's going to have balloons of different holidays and parties. It's going to have some party hats and a little bit of confetti. For the cake, I am just taking a box, namely this one, from some light-up candles. Don't tell anyone. Um, and I'm going to cover it in white clay and then decorate it with different colored clay, like the piped icing, and then write on it too. I'm gonna put some little cake toppers on it. It's gonna be pretty cool. And uh, so here we go. Okay, so I've got my box for the cake. I have the white clay that's gonna cover the box. I have the colored clay that's gonna be the decorating colors and some piping bags with tips so that I can pipe that clay like it's a cake. I've also got some flower shaped cookie cutters that I can use to hopefully put inside each other in order to make 3D flowers. Oh yeah, and I've got two cans of soda. We have a rolling pin that I was gonna use to roll out this clay like a sheet of fondant, but uh, we can't find it, so I'm using soda cans. Second best. I just put down some plastic here so I don't get any clay on the table. You may notice it has the background of a tree from one of the last displays that I did. <laughs>
I took a break from making the cake for a few days. I'm back at it. I'm going to be putting it up tomorrow. So here's what I have so far. I've got a couple of the flowers. I still need to add some on the other side. I've written in just gel pen, it's party time, because I wasn't about to um, lay out all of the clay into cursive letters, because that would just be ridiculous. Um, I have some stuff that I got at the party store to put on it. These are candle holders. I'm going to put the candles in them, because I couldn't figure out how to glue just candles to the cake. It would look weird, so I got some candle holders I'm going to put on. Got some stars, and I have my third birthday. I'm going to go back into time-lapse mode. cake. It's party time! And it's apparently it's our third birthday. I'm gonna let this dry, all the glue and clay and everything, and then I'm gonna put it on some cardboard and probably on a binder so that um, it sticks up a little bit this way so you can read it. And then I'll show you some video or pictures of the display when it's done. Because I already got a bunch of cool party stuff. I got like party hats, and a little mini sun piñata, and like confetti and all of this cool stuff. So you will see this when it's done tomorrow after I set it up. <laughs> 